On a height he stood that looked towards greater heights. Our earlier portraits to the infinite are sunrise splendors on a marvelous world. While lingers yet unseen the glorious sun, what now we see is a shadow of what must come. A shapeless memory lingers in us still. And sometimes, when our sight is turned within, Earth's ignorant veil is lifted from our eyes. There is a short, miraculous escape. Our souls can visit in great lonely hours still regions of imperishable light. All seeing eagle peaks of silent power and Moon flame oceans of swift, fathomless bliss and calm immensities of spirit space. In moments when the inner lamps are lit and the life's cherished guests are left outside, our spirit sits alone and speaks to its ghost. A 
pleasure of honey in the combs of God, a splendor burning in a tenebrous cloak. It is our glory of the flame of God, our golden fountain of the world's delight. An immortality coiled in the cave of death, the shape of our unborn divinity. Along a path of years, serpentine, in the coiled blackness of her nation core, the earth goddess toils across the sands of time. A being is in her whom she hopes to know. A word speaks to her heart she cannot hear. A fate compels whose form she cannot see. In her unconscious orbit, through the void, out of her mindless depths, she strives to rise. A perilous life again, a struggling joy. Ignorant and wary and invincible, she seeks through the soul's war and quivering pain the pure perfection her mind makes her need. A brace of Godhead on her stone and mark.
a light grows in her. She assumes the voice. Her state, she learns to read, and the act she has done. But the one needed truth eludes her grasp. Herself and all of which she is the sun. A vision meets her of supernal powers that draw her as if mind taking men laws. Approaching with a strange, great, luminous gaze, then is she moved to all that she is not, and stretches arms to what was never heard. Outstretching arms to the unconscious boy. Passionate, she prays to invisible forms of God, soliciting from dumb fate and toiling time what most. She needs what most exceeds her scope, a mind unvisited by illusions gleams, a will expressive of souls dating. A strength not forced to stumble by its speed, a joy that drags not sorrow as its shape. can see the idea, the might that changed time's course. Come maimed with light from undiscovered worlds. Here, while the world toils on with its deep, blind heart, the galloping hooves of the unforeseen event, bearing the superhuman rider near the 
ending passive to earth din and start to cry or turn to the silence of the hills of God as lightning leaps as thunder sweeps they pass and leave their mark on the trampled breast of life. Above the world, the world creators stand. In the phenomenon see its mystic thoughts. These heed not the deceiving outward play. They turn not to the moment's busy tramp, but listen with the still patience of the unborn for the slow, slow footsteps of far destiny. Thus will the vast transcendent mount his soul, when darkness deepens, strangling the earth's breath, and man's corporeal mind is the only light. As the thieves in the night shall be the covered thread of one who steps unseen. In matter shall be lit the spirit's glow. A few shall see what none yet understand. God shall grow up while the wise men talk and sleep. For man shall not know the coming till its hour, and belief shall be not till the work is done. In the wide, signless ether of the self, in the unchanging silence, white and new, aloof, resplendent, 
like gold dazzling sun veiled by the rain no mortal eye can bear the spirit free and absolute potency burn in the solitude of the thoughts of God. An outstretched hand is felt upon our lives. It is near us in unnumbered bodies and births. In its unshaken grasp, it keeps for us safe the one inevitable supreme result. No will can take away and no doom change the crown of conscious immortality. The Godhead promised to our struggling souls when first man's heart dared death and suffered life. In the mystery of the deeps that God has built for his abode below the sinker's sight, in this gold dome on a black dragon base, the conscious force that acts in nature's breast, a dark hold laborer in the cosmic scheme, carrying clay images of unborn gods, absolves from hour to hour her secret job.
There are two who are one and play in many worlds. In knowledge and ignorance they have spoken and met, and light and darkness are their eyes interchange. Here on the earth, where we must fill our part, we know not how shall run the drama's course. Our uttered sentences veil in their thought her mind plan she holds back from our sight she has conceived her glory and her bliss and disguised the love and wisdom in her heart As one too great for him, he worships her. He adores her as his regent of desire. He yields to her as the mover of his wings. He burns the incense of his nights and days, offering his life a splendor of sacrifice. He leans on her for all he does and is. He builds on her largesses, his proud fortunate day, and trails his peacock plumage joy of light and suns in the glory of her passing smile. Happy in it, he lies beneath her feet. His breast he offers for her cosmic dawn, of which our lives 
all the quivering theater, and none could bear but his strength within, yet none would leave because of his delight. His works, his thoughts, have been devised by her. His being is a mirror vast of her, active, inspired by her. He speaks and moves. His deeds obey her heart's unspoken demand. His consciousness is a babe upon her knees. Her endless space is the playground of his soul. 